Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Amanda, as always. We're going to be talking about a couple of my favorite products from one of my favorite skincare brands, which is Paul's Choice. I'm going to be taking you just throughout my latest order and what some of my essential products are, and also uh, reviewing some new products that I've never tried from the line. So if you're interested in seeing my Paul's Choice haul and review, please keep watching. I have been using Paula's Choice for years. My mom actually got me on to using the brand and we've been ordering them collectively um, once or twice a year in like huge bulks. So this is definitely one of my big bulk hauls where I purchase a lot of my favorite products that I use on a daily basis and that I always have just in case I run out of the products I'm using right now. I am super into skincare. I think it's very, very important. I'm actually wearing no makeup right now besides my lipstick. And that's because I just want to kind of like focus on the purity of the skin and really um, beautiful skin starts with skincare. So if you take care of your skin, you're one step to having like the complexion of your dreams. One of my products that I love and use very, very regularly is the Paula's Choice Skin Balancing Oil Reducing Cleanser. This cleanser is great if you have sensitive skin, more of like a silky product that creates a light lather on your face so you can really lather up, feel the dirt and the excess oil just coming off and really giving yourself that like clean, clean, clean feeling from washing your face. It also removes makeup and rinses absolutely clean. So um, it's definitely a good option if you're looking for a clarifying cleanser that's not too intense and uh, that will just get your skin super clean so you can go on with the rest of your skincare steps. So I definitely recommend this product if that is what you're looking for from a cleanser. Now I'm 28 years old, so my skin is kind of like a maturing skin, but it's also, I'm starting to see like fine lines and wrinkles. So I'm really into serums and toners and essentially anything that can help me rejuvenate my skin more like topically. And this has definitely improved my skin in like wondrous ways. This is definitely a holy grail product for me. I'm obsessed. It is the Paula's Choice Skin Perfecting 2% BHA Liquid. I put this on after I cleanse and it creates like a radiant, even toned skin. It's really good at kind of like minimizing any imperfections on the skin. It also reduces redness, builds collagen, and kind of like unclogs and diminishes your pores to create that really like tight, nice, perfect complexion. I use this day and night. So I'll use it in the morning when I wash my face and at night before I go to bed. Usually what I'll do is I'll cleanse my face. I will put on like a makeup remover cleansing water solution and then this. I don't really use toner and if I do, it's uh, currently like a rose water and that is just like a mystifying to kind of hydrate the skin and because I want to test rose water and like see what all the hype is about. But uh, yeah, this is definitely a part of my routine and I've been using it for years and I will never stop. So I recommend. Another holy grail product of mine is the anti-aging eye cream. I really like this stuff because there's a huge thick consistency to it so you can really hydrate the eye area. I put it all over my lid, all underneath my eye and it just really gets into those fine lines and like hydrates them, makes them plump and kind of prevents them from getting worse lines and such. So I don't know. I've used a bunch of different eye creams but I always go back to buying this one because I, I just think it's really great. It does the job. I'm really interested in prevention. So I started to use the Paula's Choice Resist line. And the one I use at night is the Resist Barrier Repair Moisturizer with retinol. I love the stuff because it's really moisturizing. It's great for um, kind of like fighting those first signs of aging, fine lines, you know, like all that jazz. And it promotes a firmer looking skin. I tend to do this and I boost it up with the Retinol Boost, which is a 1% Retinol Booster. Retinol is really good at improving radiance in the skin, helping just diminish fine lines and wrinkles and prevent them as well, and just give like a completely new radiance to your complexion. So even though it's um, a bit more higher in volume, I like to pair it to kind of give like its full effect. And this booster is great because you can essentially add it to anything. But um, a very important thing to know about Retinol is if you use it, you must follow up with a 
SPF. Using a sunscreen of SPF 25 or higher is highly, highly recommended because retinol makes your skin a lot more sensitive to the sun and to sunlight. The one I like to use is the Hydrolite Shine Free Daily Mineral Complex. This one is an SPF 30 and I wear it during the daytime. I even wear this during the winter just in case because you can still get sun damage in the winter with the, the bright snow and like the sunny days, even though it's cold, like the sun is still hitting your face and you're still susceptible to a sunburn. This one is really great if it's not too hot outside and it is like any season, but if I'm not using this, I try to use an SPF 50 over my entire body in the summertime, which includes my face, obviously. So that is pretty much my normal Paula's Choice order besides ordering the shampoo and conditioner and maybe a body butter. But there's one product that I got that's uh, relatively new to their collection. It is the Peptide Booster. Peptides are really good to add to your routine if you want to improve the dullness of your skin, if you want to improve the elasticity and the firmness, and also the elephant in the room, the wrinkles. So the current plan is this during the morning and this at night to achieve optimum results from my skincare routine. Hopefully these boosters will help boost my face. Yeah. Another really great thing that I like about Paula's Choice is that it is fragrance-free, it doesn't test on animals, and it is non-irritating for even the most sensitive of skin. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed my recent Paula's Choice haul and digging into some of the products that I love to use on a regular basis and are truly some of my holy grails. I hope that this inspired you to kind of look into your own skincare routine and maybe try some of the cool Paula's Choice items uh, that are available on paulaschoice.com. This is definitely not sponsored. This is just literally what I order twice a year. And yeah, hope you have a great day. And if you'd like to see more content from me, please like and subscribe to my channel and I will have new content coming out for you very soon. Until next time, see you then. Bye-bye.